up for sale and for demo today is this really killer player grade candy apple red 1965 fender stratocaster uh, this is player grade it's had some changes which is why it's a little more affordable uh, just a quick heads up that uh, this is being the video is being made to demo the guitar it's for sale in lots of places best place to buy it for you in terms of the overall price and what you'll get at checkout is on my website which is linked below on the YouTube video so go to the YouTube video and you'll see the description below um, one bonus is if you're not in Washington State, uh, you won't be charged sales tax at checkout. Although, you know, obviously there are different laws in different states with regard to that, so you need to be aware of what you might have to report yourself, but you won't be charged it at checkout. Uh, so anyway, 1965 Fender Stratocaster, look at the list and you'll see a full breakdown of all the details. So it's player grade, it's had some changes, uh, but the good thing is the way it's currently set up, it looks, feels, plays great gives you everything you'd expect and want from a vintage strap and at under ten thousand bucks this is about as cheap as you'll find them most of the time you know you could find a crazy deal out there for sure uh, but this is definitely the bottom end of the market so for strats this might be your chance to get in in an increasingly quickly escalating price in the market all right so quick rundown so you st original neck and body um the body has, or the neck has the original headstock. No funny businesses have done to the neck. The neck finish appears to be original. Black lights are right. has all the proper features. No sign of overspray on it. But the decal does look to have been changed to the spaghetti style, which has some fading. And, of course, it has the added uh, string tree. Um, the guitar neck did have different tuners on it at one time. Um, but, thankfully, it's all... The evidence of that is hidden here underneath the back of the tuners and then the bushings. Essentially what they did is I think they slightly widened the tuner holes for the replacement tuners, um, but I went ahead and plugged them and re-drilled them. Uh, so that's all uh, been done. It was very, very nice work. Uh, so pretty much there on the uh, neck. I believe these are the original factory fat frets. It could have been refretted with similar wire. A fret show a little bit of wear, but uh, very good playability. Lots of height. If you want to level them, you can, but there's no like... Um, major issues here with playability. All right, now to the the body. The body had some routing done and probably had active electronics in it installed at one time. That Those routes have been repaired and under the original pattern of kind of the, uh, I guess we'd call SSS, single coil, single coil, single coil has been put there. So that's kind of been repaired. I've got photos of all this so you can see what it was. I don't know who did the work. I don't know how extensively it was done. I don't know the process, but I've given you detailed pictures of everything. Um, on the back of the guitar, um, there is also some routing right here on the side of the tremolo cavity. Again, it's all covered under this uh, plate, and I think it's where a 9-volt battery was. The body I know is an original body. It has the proper dowel holes. Right, There's one right here, and then I believe there's one right here as well. It's really hard to get a photo of, but... All that's there, all the other things that you would want to see uh, for a body, including the uh, contours, right, authenticates this as an original body that just has had some mods done to it. So, so uh, some changes, uh, original L series, L5 series neck plate, uh, tuners were replaced, strap buttons are original. This guard is definitely vintage, uh, whether it's from the mid 60s or maybe the early 70s, I'm not 100% sure. I've got photos of it, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, the pickups are also vintage, and uh, thankfully they're still within the basic orbit and features of a 60s Strat, even though these two pickups date 1974. So they're gray bottoms, just like the mid-60s ones. I think by 69 or so they were using a different magnet, which gives you a little bit, typically gives you a little bit brighter sound, so you get the Hendrix era kind of feel. But it's still within that orbit. Um, in 70. Late 74, I think they switched to a flat pull piece arrangement. So these are staggered. So they're the more desirable ones. By um, In 75, I think it was just to save money in production. They went to flat pull pieces. Kind of lost a little bit of the distinctor strat sound. This pickup does appear to me to be a mid-60s gray bottom just with no date on them. Most of the time they got a, a handwritten uh, date. Sometimes they didn't. I've seen both. This looks to me to be a mid-60s gray bottom, uh, which would be right for the year of the guitar. Five-way switch. Um, plastic. These plastics are not original. It's a mismatched set. Um, the tremolo uh, unit, um, I've compared it pretty carefully to some other examples here. Uh, the bridge itself has tooling that's right, the tooling marks that are right for the year. 
Um, the tremolo block also is pretty comparable. I have a 66 hanging up over there. It looks pretty close. Um, but, you know, the repros on these are pretty good. So it's hard for me to 100% certain. I mean, if I had to say one way or another, I'd say that the saddles have been changed. Um, but the, the, the bridge plate and uh, tremolo block are likely original. But, um, you know, I can't say that with 100% confidence. So please weigh that. Um, it does have the original strap buttons and uh, the rest of the stuff here is right for it. So anyway, it's a player grade Stratocaster, not an original piece. It's not a collector grade thing, but if you want a vintage Strat um, that has vintage sound, vintage uh, feel, vintage vibe, and you want to be able to take it out and gig it and do whatever you want to it, this is it. Again, this is about at retail as cheap as you're going to find these, um, even with the issues. So check out the website below. Thanks for checking out the video. If you, and if you have any questions, reach out. And when I can, when I have time, I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks for checking out the video and have a great day.